Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle, or not the middle, sorry, the monthly readings for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Before we get into your reading, Aquarius, I just want to take the time to remind everyone and encourage everyone to put love out into the universe. Be more compassionate towards each other, more understanding. We are living in trialing times and there is major transformative type of energy that is unfolding and will continue to unfold. I think everyone is experiencing being a little bit on edge and it is important uh, to respect one another, to help out one another. And um, just wanted to put it out there. Anyways, let's get into your reading Aquarius. Let's see what spirit has for you guys for this month of June. You have the two of swords. Um, feeling a bit stuck. Feeling like uh, there is a situation that you may be dealing with where perhaps you feel that you can't at the moment make any changes or any movement. You have the ace of coins as an obstacle. So there was definitely some type of beginning that was hindered or perhaps in hold at the present time. You have the three of coins here and the four of cups. Okay. So for some of you guys, this could have to do with um, uh, perhaps there was a blockage or you're currently experiencing uh, financial difficulties. Uh, with the three of coins going into the two of swords uh, could represent as the past and passing. Um, there was perhaps a project or something that you were thinking or wanting to work on where uh, currently there is a bit of a standstill. Uh, for those of you guys that are dealing with relationships, it could have been a beginning that you were hoping or expecting that pretty much came to a halt or to a stop. With the Four of Cups, I feel that for some of you guys, there could be some frustration there, a bit of a bit of frustration, a bit of blockage. You have the Five of Wands, so there's an inner struggle going on with you, Aquarius, and you have the Four of Wands. So I think that for some of you guys, uh, you are currently experiencing or feeling of frustration perhaps in regards to love and romance for some of you guys it could be that you've been single for quite a while now and there is like i said a bit of resistance a bit of frustration because there hasn't been any new beginnings or perhaps there hasn't even if you've connected with people it almost seems to quickly come to a halt so there's definitely an inner struggle going on with you aquarius uh, you guys tend to be needing a partner that embraces uh, your freedom. Um, so for some of you guys, it could be that uh, you have a tendency of uh, when you get into relationships, it's very intense. Uh, you may be dealing with a fire energy and they could be very intense and quickly move the relationship. Uh, so for some of you guys, it could be the fear um, of taking it to the next level. For others of you, like I said, there'd be frustration in regards to a new beginning. Uh, for some of you guys, it could even be the fear of understanding at this point in time uh, of being lonely is what I'm sensing, is what I'm hearing, is what I'm feeling right now. Um, so it could be, it could be that perhaps for some of you guys, when things rush very quickly, you kind of freak out um, and you quickly either walk away from the partnership or relationship. And I think that right now, and it could be something that is being experienced worldwide uh, where you kind of are contemplating or even feeling a bit bummed out uh, because um, it's just very difficult to balance relationships. Now, you have the two of cups here. So your advice here, Aquarius, is to understand that when it comes to partnerships and relationships, it's going to be very important to keep an open mind and open heart. Uh, for some of you guys, you're very stuck and stubborn on your uh, past behaviors or things that perhaps you don't want to change about yourself uh, because you are self-sufficient. With the Two of Cups, though, there is a duality that's happening. Like I said, for some of you guys, it could be that you're contemplating, you know, where my life has gone, the decisions I've made. Did I miss my opportunity? Did I miss you know, that partner that was right for me, for others of you, it could just be a feeling of overflowing emotion and you don't really know how to deal with that at the present time. 
Now you have the seven of swords. Uh, Energy is currently influencing you or around you. Uh, people that are, you're currently dealing with may not have your best interest at heart. Uh, this could even represent partners that you tend to uh, gravitate to. For some of you guys, it could be that they're, you know, deceptive, that they could be in partnerships or relationships as we do have the three of cups. And you're often finding or questioning why things don't progress. Well, there's something about you, Aquarius, that you're very drawn to people that are either emotionally unavailable or you yourself are emotionally unavailable. And um, for some of you guys, it could be putting yourself in situations where you know things are not going to progress. Like I said, uh, becoming a third party or that type of energy. And perhaps now uh, there's an internal thing going on with you where you're internalizing everything and trying to figure out like I said what have I done in the past that type of energy with the three of cups uh, your I guess your biggest fear at the present time could be that either you have a tendency of gravitating towards people that are taken or emotionally unavailable or this could be you Aquarius that you're wondering why uh, things don't progress in a positive way and what they're saying here is because there is a fear in you of commitment. There is a fear of not so much the commitment itself, but losing yourself in relationships. And it's almost like you're extremely guarded. Now, you also do have here the king of wands. So it's a fire energy you may be dealing with or you may be pulled towards for the month of June. Uh, Aries, Sagittarius or Leo type of energy. Now, for those of you guys that have been single for quite a while, I think that all this internalizing is very important because there is transformative energy. I do see a person coming towards you. And it, like I said, it could be a fire energy. It doesn't have to be their sun sign. It could be their moon sign. But what Spirit is telling you here is that just be ready. There's new beginnings coming towards you, whether you're ready or not. Um, what they're saying here is that you need to let go of being so stubborn uh, being so stuck in the mud, not wanting to change or perhaps not embrace change very well. And what they're telling you is that you need to be more confident and believe more in yourself, Aquarius. Even if you have a tendency of socializing and having a ton of friends, but you kind of keep them at a distance and at an arm's length, what they're telling you is that what you may be experiencing for the month of June is emotion. And a lot of the times when we're foreign to that, especially when it's over overwhelming type of emotion, we have a tendency of being like in an emotional roller coaster because we're trying to figure out on on a mental uh, state. You're trying to internalize what's going on, why you're feeling the way you do. But because emotions or overflowing of emotions could be a bit foreign to you, it could freak you out. Uh, so what they're saying here is try the best you can to step away from the situation to see it, you know, with clear eyes. Um, if you are dealing with this type of emotion and there is a feeling of loneliness, I do see a lot of energy, a lot of people around you, but there's also a feeling of loneliness or people not really understanding, understanding you. Um, really, it's almost like a feeling of just not it's this is this overwhelming feeling of loneliness and kind of like people don't understand you or they don't understand where you're coming from um it could be that even in relationships you've tried to open up uh, because you care for them but for some reason it's like it's not receptive energy it's almost like uh they could complain about the fact that you're not very open and it's like in you there's frustration like i'm trying my hardest like you know doesn't come natural to me. Um, but what they're saying here is that it's important for us to work on our heart chakra, uh, to open ourselves up, to let our guard down once in a while um, and be mindful. Uh, try if you are the type to be pulled towards people that are not available. Why is it that you're doing this? Is it because you feel that at some point you understand that both of you guys are going to walk your own separate ways and you know what's expected, therefore you can't be hurt. But then it turns out that you get emotionally attached, you know? So what they're saying here is that there's this paradigm that is quickly changing. 
And in order for us to be able to experience growth or see things from a different perspective or even grow from that is acknowledging why we do it. So I encourage you Aquarians for the month of June uh, to take a different approach when it comes to love, to not be so guarded um, and to really, for some people, you know, the majority go into getting to know someone or relationships with you know, expectations. And sometimes that's not good because you block yourself from blessings. In your situation, I think you need to go take the approach of having expectations. Um, so as an example, if you have dealt with people in the past that are taken, why is it that you've settled with that? Is it because you feel that you're not worthy of unconditional love? Or is it because you feel like you in a way are protecting yourself because you know what the outcome's going to be versus giving yourself into a relationship and not knowing if it's going to work out or not. So a lot of internalizing, I encourage you guys to try to understand past behaviors so that you don't continuously keep experiencing the same outcome, especially because I do see a new person coming in and you don't want to block that blessing. Okay. Hi, right, my lovelies. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading and we'll see each other soon. Bye.